Roster Watch Nation and our friends at Roto Underworld squared off in our second friendly and spirited rookie Superflex draft in a competition to see who would have the more dominant draft. This exercise helps educate our loyal members about the 2021 rookie class, providing evaluation and strategic perspective from all 12 of the participants. This was a PPR Superflex draft where you could start two quarterbacks in your starting lineup. An eye-popping five quarterbacks went off the board in the first round. As the QBs get pushed up, the elite wide receivers and the running backs get pushed down the board. There are no bad draft picks in a super flex first round. You'll be happy with whatever player you get. Though there is a big nine tier one of players. We fully expect Trevor Lawrence to be the first pick in any competitive super flex rookie draft. Team Roster Watch's Ani Sridhar made the right pick. T-Law is as clean as a prospect as we have ever seen. Not only does he have massive upside, he does have a safe floor. If you own the first pick in a rookie Superflex draft, Lawrence is the pick. If you're not in love with Lawrence, you can trade the pick, as you certainly can get a nice haul in return. The second and third pick in the first round went to Underworld's Cody Willem and Neil Dutton. Both went running back with Najee Harris and Travis Etienne. Both are two of the top three running back prospects in this class. We would not call them bad picks, but in a Superflex draft, it is probably optimal to look at the quarterbacks ahead of the running backs, especially if those quarterbacks are taken with top 10 overall draft capital in the real NFL. Let's look at 2020. In Superflex rookie mocks, Jonathan Taylor and Clyde Edwards-Hilaire were both going ahead of Justin Herbert. Herbert had top six overall draft capital. Drafters of Jonathan Taylor are happy with the pick, but it's Herbert who is more valuable in a super flex format today. Ray Mazzarella of Underworld stole Justin Fields with the fourth pick. Even if you're not pro fields, 1.4 represents huge value for whoever the QB2 is on your board. Roster Watch co-founder Alex Dunlap could not refuse a young elite wide receiver prospect like Jamar Chase at 1.5. Locking in a 21-year-old elite wide receiver is a sharp proven strategy in Dynasty. Getting the wide receiver one at pick five illustrates how the middle-of-the-road teams that finish and have mid-round picks are going to give a supercharged boost to their team. Underworld's Nate Liss got his man with quarterback Trey Lance at pick six. Liss is on record as advocating for Trey Lance's extreme high upside. Lance carries more risk than maybe some of the other quarterbacks, but has the highest ceiling based on his dual-threat skills he displayed in his short career. Lance only threw 30 passes last year, but his 2019 resume and highlight tape certainly speak for themselves. Shane Seeley of Roster Watch lands North Carolina running back Javante Williams at pick seven. Williams represents the last of the top tier running backs, a surefire top four pick in one QB leagues. You will feel great about your team should you land Javante Williams at pick seven. Roster Watch fan favorite and senior analyst The Trash Man lands one of his favorite wide receiver prospects over the last few years, Jalen Waddle with pick eight. Waddle has the look and feel of a player that is going to be startable in your fantasy league in short order. Zach Wilson at pick nine in a draft is going to stand out if he ends up being the QB2 in this class. Yours truly took him with the ninth overall pick. Roto Underworld's own carnival barker, the Podfather, wisely selects the last of the big five QBs at pick 10. There is a case for Mac Jones going in the top five of Superflex drafts. He is a mortal lock for fantasy value and very low risk. Roster Watch co-founder Byron Lambert gets the most interesting prospect in round one. Kyle Pitts is rightfully being hyped as one of the best tight end prospects of all time. The floor is secure that warrants Pitts as being a first round rookie dynasty pick. Team Underworld's Corbin Young drafted Rashad Bateman with the last pick in the first round. Corbin elects to pass on Heisman Trophy winner Devontae Smith with a proactive gamble on Bateman. Corbin chose the safety of Bateman's profile versus what would be an outlier profile for Devontae Smith given his 170 pound frame. Click the link below in the video description to read about the rest of our draft summary, rounds two through five. Okay, Roster Watch Nation, that's it for today. Remember to like and subscribe to get notifications when we go live and leave us a comment in the video. We will comment back and let us know who had the best draft.